Okay, folks, this is uh, my solution for a focus, focus adjustment tool. Since we have to calibrate these lenses to the bodies, I can't believe how sloppy the tolerances on these lenses and stuff must be because you spend, uh, what, $3,000 on a body and a, a lens and you line someone up five or six feet in front of you with a 50 millimeter lens and and sh and shoot and what your focus system is like three or four inches out of focus really I mean what the I don't understand why photographers are putting up with that shit but um, you know you buy professional equipment you're buying precision equipment and you shouldn't the autofocus system should not be you know that inaccurate that coming from these factories to where you I could see maybe real old lenses, maybe needing some adjustment, but all this modern stuff, these are brand new modern equipment you buy right out of the box. And the damn things are so far out of adjustment and calibration that I've been shooting pictures for many years and I had no idea that you had to fine adjust these bodies, you know, and lenses to the, they were so far out of adjustment you had to calibrate them yourself. I, I was totally unaware of what a mess it was, what a mess it is and I bought a new body and a 300 millimeter lens and I shot a couple marathons as a volunteer and uh, anyway uh, 2,000 runners pictures uh, shot over a month period with my new equipment I bought for this you know shoots and I got 2,000 pictures of runners with their faces out of focus standing out there for hours shooting runners uh, you know where their faces are all fuzzy and the pavement one or two feet behind them is sharp you know I buy three thousand dollars worth of new equipment and the damn pictures are all a foot and a half out of focus really I mean come on wow ridiculous unbelievable and really this focus adjust is kind of a secret I mean it's not that well known unless you really get to be a professional um, I've been shooting a long time and I had no idea that I had to adjust my lenses and my body because they were so far out of calibration. Um, I don't know, but very disappointing the quality that we're getting from these camera companies on this stuff. They need to figure out a way for these lenses to calibrate themselves. The body, they should be able to calibrate themselves. We, you know, you should not have to do it on this modern equipment and uh, pretty miffed about the whole thing so here's what you gotta do you know is buy you have to make your own adjustment tool and calibra calibrate all your own equipment so I wouldn't go out and spend sixty bucks for that plastic thing they you know got the x right company I think it's the name of the company's x right or something like that they have a uh, deal it's like sixty bucks you know for piece of plastic that you can adjust and it has a ruler on it here's my solution uh, cost under five dollars a lint roller a pet roller or a pet hair roller from Walmart a ruler from Walmart and a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor you could use a tongue depressor snap it in half or cut it in half with something and uh, Glued the, or glued the popsicle stick at the midpoint of the ruler uh, use epoxy to do that with and uh, and then I affixed tape on there and then I put epoxy in that and that focal plane where the X is that's a, a little X decal you could also just put an X on there with a you know one of those uh, permanent marker pins that would work fine too um, and the focal plane you can push that I can push that tongue depressor and it, it has a little bit of uh, movement in it so I can adjust the focal plane when I get it set up and ready to shoot and it'll stay that way for 20 or 30 minutes um, where I put it and then it'll kind of go back to being straight but uh, I've got you know an adjustment I can just push it with my thumb there and it'll stay for quite some time where I put it to get the focal plane straight depending on how much of an angle I put on the ruler so anyway that keeps it stuck pretty much in place it holds it pretty secure no matter what you put it on a table or 
you could even stick it on the hood of your car or whatever and uh, just put it there because the lint roller will stick in place and it'll also hold the ruler in place so it works out real good and it gives you a pretty good angle on your ruler so anyway five bucks that solves the problem you don't have to spend sixty dollars I saw there's a little cardboard thing uh, you can buy from China on eBay that's about three or four dollars you know but you gotta wait two or three weeks to get here from e-packet from China so this is quicker easier about the same expense so gives you a foot of uh, alignment so anyway um, get ticked off these companies like flash modifiers like Gary Fong and these outfits man the prices they charge for this plastic and Tupperware stuff is ridiculous I mean <laughs> They're really making a killing on that stuff, man. They they really bend photographers over the desk on some of this periphery equipment you need. Anyway, here's here's a way to save about $55 as opposed to buying the X-Rite deal. So this works. I used it to set mine. You don't have to put your camera on a tripod, although I probably should have done this video on a tripod. It's a little bit shaky. I understand that, but this is quick and dirty. Um but you just get back five or six feet a telephoto you're going to want to take shots from you know if you're shooting 250 millimeters you're going to want to get back maybe 30 yards and do some shooting and and uh, try to get it lined up that way but depending on the lens just kind of shoot where you would normally shoot with a particular lens it doesn't have to be on a tripod you can use a tripod if you want but just shoot like you would normally shoot but take several examples um, so that you know that you're, you know, getting a decent image, and and then make your adjustment, and uh, this will work fine. Anyway, that's about all the comments I've got to make about the uh, lousy calibration on this focal equipment we're getting from Nikon, Canon, Sony, all of them, and you know what? Their warranty service, their service support, is it blows too. Just b to be honest with you. You call and complain about something like this, you're just going to get the run around. They, they don't give a damn. You know, um, buy all this brand new equipment and the damn thing's a foot out of focus. Are you kidding me, man? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, I'm shutting this thing down before I really get on a rant.